can't change the past. Gonna enjoy today. For however long it lasts, cause life's too short. I can't change the past. Gonna enjoy today. For however long it lasts, cause life's too short. Can't seem to find a way. Don't have the words to say. I'm searching deep within. Time truth will be unveiled. You release me to be free to live life well, not to live it perfectly. I can't change the past, gonna enjoy today for however long it lasts, cause life's too short. I can't change the past, I'm gonna enjoy today. For however long it lasts, this life's too short I don't know what to do I don't know what to think And I let the world steer me And I know that it's not right Hi everyone! Um, this is much more difficult than I thought it would be and it feels kind of weird sitting here in my office and talking to my computer. I hope that you all enjoyed the lovely song by Lynette and the quotes that I put together for you about creativity. I think Lynette's song really encapsulates what I want to talk about today and that is that God wants us to live our lives with freedom and to enjoy doing the things that he's given us the gifts to do. So today I want to talk about something that I'm quite passionate about, and that is creativity. And there are basically three aspects of creativity that I want to look at. Um, the first one is that we're all born to be creative. And I've often heard people say, I don't have a creative bone in my body. In fact, I've probably heard it from some of the people in this room. And usually when we think about creativity and what it means, we think about the great artistic geniuses of our time. We think of Picasso and Beethoven, um, about painting a perfect picture or creating beautiful music or producing great works of art. And often when people compare themselves to these great artists, they decide that they can't be creative. But creativity is definitely not limited to the great works of art. And we are all born with the seeds of creativity within us. The Bible tells us that God created us in his image. And if we're created in his image and he is creative, that means that we must all be creative. Now, if you watch little children, um, what you see is that um, they tend to be curious and eager and willing to learn. And they, they use their imaginations with confidence. Um, I have a story that I, I once heard about a little boy who was um, busy drawing a picture and his mom came in and she looked at him the picture and she said to him, my boy, what are you drawing? And he said, mom, I'm drawing a picture of God. And his mom thought she would help him out and she said to him, but how can you draw a picture of God when we don't really know and no one really knows what he looks like. And the little boy um, looked at his mom in a, a, a curious way and he quickly responded to her, Mom, they'll soon know what he looks like when they look at my picture. So I wish that we could all have this sense of confidence in our creativity and the, the sense of wonder that little children have. Um, but what happens along the way is that as we grow older, we start to lose confidence in our own creativity. We start to compare ourselves with others. Um, we start to um, become discouraged when we listen to that nasty little voice in our heads that tells us you can't do that or you're too old to try that or you, know, you don't have the skill to do that or you, know, you have to do it perfectly in order for it to be any good. And I remember a, a, when I was a little girl, um, this happened to me because um, I had this dream of becoming a great fashion designer. 
and I once found a, a piece of fabric, um, scrap fabric, lying around the house and um, I decided I'm going to design myself a dress. And so that's what I did. I made a dress. I, I used my mom's old black Singer sewing machine to sew it up and um, I had made this beautiful dress or what I thought was beautiful. And um, my mom was very kind and she allowed me to wear the dress when I was at home to play with and to play in and that sort of thing. But when we went out, she wouldn't allow me to wear my dress. And I think from that time, I began to believe that I wasn't going to be this great um, fashion designer that I thought I would be. And um, I began to lose courage um, to, to do creative things. Um, now this week when I was at the, the hairdressers, I found this article in a back issue of Longevity magazine. And I've got it here, I actually pinched it from, from the, the hairdresser. And it summarized what I wanted to say today about this, and that is that creativity takes courage. Um, it takes courage to be curious, Courage to dream, courage to change, courage to grab an unknown future with both hands, courage to take risks, and lastly, courage to do things in our own way. And that brings me to my second point, which is what we've, that we've all been given um, creative gifts and that those gifts are all different. Um, the Bible tells us in Ephesians 4 verse 7 that out of the generosity of Christ, each of us is given his or her own gift. What we need to do there, therefore is to keep exploring what those gifts are and then focus on getting good at them. Now in psychology we talk about finding our sense of flow and this is usually the place where we feel most engaged and most energized in what we're doing. It's the place where we feel that we're adding good value and that we're making a difference. And in that place, we generally also feel happiest. For some, it might be when they're writing. For others, it might be in making beautiful music, like our worship team does on a Sunday. Um, it might be cooking a lovely meal or designing that beautiful dress. It could be in encouraging a friend or coming together like we are today to do crafting and crocheting. Um, it could be decorating a beautiful cake for somebody's birthday or taking lovely photographs. It could be just making or baking that yummy cake. Um, it could be in solving problems, big problems at work or designing new things and coming up with innovative ideas that can change the world. Um, it could be doing the, the big things um, or it could be in just doing the small things with a lot of love. Now, what I've done today is that I've brought a couple of things along with me um, that I've been given over the years um, that really made, made me realize that, you know, we all have different gifts of creativity and um, we can use those gifts to, to share with other people and to make other people's lives happier. And they don't have to be perfect. Um, they don't have to be expensive. They don't have to be store-bought. Um, so I've brought along three things that I want to show you. And the first of these three things is this um, lovely little book um, that was made for me by a friend. Um, it's got my name on the front, you can see there. And inside of this book, every single page is decorated. Beautifully decorated with little verses, um, little messages. And it's all personal, it's kind of directed at me. Um, and this book was put together with a lot of love. And it's something that I really, really treasure because of that. Um, then the second thing that I, I brought along to show you is um, this beautiful scarf um, that was knitted for me by a friend. Um, she lives down in Grahamstown and um, she's a lecturer in psychology there. She used to work with me. And um, she knows that, that in Ferenheim we have very cold winters. And so one winter she, she knitted me this lovely scarf and she sent it down to me in the post. And um, I know how much love went into this. Um, I know what it meant for her to make this for me. And I really love it and I appreciate it. 
And then the last thing that I want to show you is something extremely special that was given to me by someone um, when I was going through a particularly hard time in my life. And um, it's this gorgeous little felt sunshine. And um, the person that gave it to me, as I say, um, gave it to me to help me to smile um, when things were not going so well. And I now hang it next to my bed and it does just that. Every time I look at it, it makes me smile. So I think, you know, it's important to remember that, you know, the, the, that creativity comes in many different forms and people have different skills and different um, gifts. And we should use those gifts um, in a passionate way. We should find out what we're good at and then do those things with a lot of love. Now, I read an article this week as well on the internet um, where it's kind of summarized what, what I'm trying to say here quite, quite well. And that is that the lady said we should create from who we are because we are a beautiful blend of what God has breathed into our souls. Um, everyone can be good at something and has a purposely placed gift. When we let those gifts dance with what we know, we create something that delights our creator and that amazes us. Isn't that nice? Now, what we create may not appeal to everyone, but there will be those who can connect with what we've created and who will enjoy it. And that brings me to the third aspect of creativity that I want to share with you. And that is that we are given our gifts for a purpose. And the first and the most important purpose is to use our gifts in a positive way to glorify God. Um, in Colossians 3 verse 23, it says, Whatever you do, do your work heartily, as for the, the Lord, rather than for men. Now, although it says here that we shouldn't do what we do for men, our creativity can, however, give others joy. And it can make the world a better place. And we need to be more creative to have fun in, for ourselves as well and to improve our own well-being. Now, psychologists have found that there are many positive benefits that being creative can have for our mental and physical health. Um, some of these include um, providing us with focus and purpose. Um, being creative can help us reduce stress and anxiety and depression. It can increase a positive mindset and that makes you feel happier. Um, being creative can often be used in therapy situations as well to help people to express themselves and to cope better with difficult life circumstances. It also helps us to solve complex problems and it can provide us with the motivation to develop new concepts and ideas. It also helps us to put more effective plans in place for the future and we can even use our creativity to help improve our financial uh, situation in tough economic times like we're facing at the moment. I think in summary, we're all born creative. Um, we've all been given unique creative gifts to use and we should use those gifts to glorify God, to give joy to others, to make the world a better place and to live happier, more joyful and more passionate lives. I hope that this little talk encourages you all to identify your creative passion and to go out and live more creative lives. Now, what I want to challenge you to do um, is perhaps this week or, or even if it's just this month, um, go and do something creative that can give somebody else joy. Um, do it um, in surprising ways, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect um, and it doesn't have to be for a specific occasion, you know, you don't have to do it for their birthday or whatever the case might be, just go out and do something that will give somebody joy um, and use your creativity. Um, thanks very much for listening this morning and um, God bless. <laughs>